Hey guys, it's your boy Dog Lightning bringing you another weekly Nico support guide. This week we're going to be going over the flavor of the month, Nico versus Nala support, so stay tuned. Have you been known to get hooked from time to time and be called a dirty inter? Well, I would seriously recommend going the Aftershock build because the extra tankiness from when you root out of a hook will keep you alive and make you survive. If you're in a higher level play, say Plat Plus, I would strongly recommend the support build as it is still going to let you snowball early with the extra Shirelia's AP, but then scale well late game to protect your carries. Now, if you're in the lower levels like Gold Below, I would recommend going with the AP build so you can just run around and one shot people like the maniac you are. Alright guys, I'm going to show you guys a play where I made a bad trade at the start, but it shows you how to counter Nautilus's hook. So the way you counter it is when he hooks you, you stealth at the perfect moment to avoid the auto. So watch, stealth, and he can't auto me. And it's so crucial that you do this whenever Nautilus hooks you, because avoiding the auto attack with the root is going to save your life. If I didn't avoid that, I 100% would have had to blow flash, my ADC would have had to probably blow heal, and I still may have died. So just remember to always, always pop your passive W as soon as he's in his auto attack animation out of the hook, and this is going to save your life, I guarantee it. Now in this matchup, you're going to be getting priority level 1 for sure. So make sure you go for this ward as you're pushing up so you don't get ganked. Now another key thing to note is I'm just auto attacking the ADC whenever possible with my passive. If you're facing an ADC with long range, say a Caitlyn or a Draven, make sure that you don't get harassed too much when going for autos. It's fine to just throw the harass on the support instead, but it's definitely more worth to always go for the ADC. So here, I got hooked, and look, even though I missed my root and didn't get the aftershock proc, a good timing on my W again saved my life. It's very crucial you guys learn that technique. Now for sure this game I have not been trading as efficiently as possible, but at least their ADC has been getting poked out and losing all their potions. It is always better for a support to go low health to trade with an ADC low health. Anytime we all in, my Sivir is going to be so safe, we're going to win any trade. And her being low health is going to come in huge later when we shove this wave into tower. You're going to see me with Demolish get a free plate, and I get this all the time in the matchup where I just get an early shove and free plate. There I land the root, but we can't follow up. It's okay. Don't get greedy. It's fine. We're just going to keep harassing her and get this wave pushing into tower. While well, nothing much happens in the next little bit, it's a good time to talk about positioning. If you see, I'm always standing behind my minions. This way, Nautilus can't find Hook. As my minion died down there, I move over to these two minions up here. I land some more harass, and now their ADC is really just like, staying around is just greedy. She may as well just be. We're going to zone her from this wave, take a tower plate, and she's just wasting her time. So here we come. Big wave stacked up. She's too far to do anything, and we get the free plate. I'm not kidding. Almost every game I play Nautilus starts exactly like this. We harass out the ADC, we take a free plate, and we already got a lead in lane. Nico is honestly really, really good against Nautilus as long as you learn that technique to avoid the auto out of a hook. Now here's another good technique. I send my W out in front of me so that I can go for harass, and if Nautilus tries to hook, it'll hit the clone. The thing you have to be careful about is that if you have your W down and he doesn't hook, then you're going to have to play safe for a while. So we see the Udyr on the bomb side, so I know it's time to go place a ward in this tri bush. Because we have the crab in river, I don't need it in the river. So we can walk up and still play aggressive, and when Udyr comes bot, we can be ready to adapt to whatever happens. So Rengar is now going to ping, he's coming on his way bot. What me and Sivir need to do to respond to this is start shoving the wave in and make sure that the next wave will be out in the open so that if they come out to try and harass at all, they'll get caught. Now I'm very comfortable with my ability to avoid this extra CC from Nautilus with my W technique, so I'm going to stand out in the open and just bait him in on me so Rengar can come out and just get free kills. So here comes the bait. Here Nautilus, come get me. Joke's on you, buddy. We have a Rengar in the bush. Now, unfortunately, the ADC flashes and Nautilus is getting away, but it's okay. We back up. We can still win this fight right here. I flash early because I'm scared Udyr is going to flash and one-shot me, but I sit back and land the damage. I didn't have to take the second kill. My bad. But overall, we're now up two kills on this lane. We're going to go get an extra pl uh, tower plate here, and basically this lane's over. There's nothing they can really do other than hope that we make a mistake. We can keep farming, growing our lead, and transition into mid-game very strong and healthy. Hey, honestly, for anyone who made it out to the end of the video, I appreciate you guys a lot. Honestly, this has been like a dream come true. I reached affiliate on Twitch a couple days ago. I got my first emote. You can see here on this end screen. If you enjoy my content that I've been doing with these guides, I'll keep uploading one a week. And please just come join my stream. Say hi. Say you came from the guide. And it's really friendly. Good time. I just 
aim to be part entertainment and just partly there to teach. So come stop by.